Hello, it's Ryan Tierney here from Lean Made Simple and I'm really excited to share another really good lean concept. So the concept we're going to talk about today is fix what bugs you. And this is a concept that I came across eight years ago when I came across the book Two Second Lean by Paul Akers. And this concept changed my way of thinking forever. So one of the reasons we've been so successful at the implementation of lean is that we keep things really simple. We use simple concepts that every single person in the company can get behind and understand. So I'm with Donna here at the cutting department. Okay, Donna, you've done a fix with Bugsy improvement. This here really bugged me, Ryan. This is my water bottle that was lying over everywhere. When I pulled this out, it was fall down. Yeah. So fix what bugged me, and I put a wee folder on there for it. Simple. Thank you. So, so something that really bugged me in the morning time when I was bringing in my laptop, I didn't know where to set it. So I was putting it down and the cables weren't reaching. So now when I come in, I have these little L markers that I put it down exactly where I need it and I can use that throughout the day, fixing what bugs me. Thank you. So I've just noticed Ben under his desk here. What are you working on, Ben? Hey Ryan, so whenever I was sitting down there, the cables were getting caught in my feet. So I decided to tie them up here now and it looks a lot better as well. And they don't get caught in my feet anymore. Hey Ryan, so this is a thing that bugged me here. So once uh, I had my laptop set up, I had loads of cables, I had two screens, Ethernet cable, uh, keyboard and mouse to plug in. So now I've got this docking station that one cable just plugs in so I'm ready to go straight away. Hi Ryan, um, I just fixed up these cables here. They were always hanging down and below the table. Yeah. Um, and they're two different chargers for my phone. So I've just put them on wee magnets here. So they're always sitting neat and tidy and I know where to go to get them. So just fix them up, bugs me. Okay, Colin, so what does fix what bugs you mean to you? I Fix What Bugs You is a really powerful idea. It's great for inspiring improvements. If you ask somebody, think of an improvement, uh, it can be difficult just to think of one on the spot, but if you ask somebody, what bugs you, what bothers you, uh, it doesn't take long for people to think of something, and then you're straight into an improvement opportunity. So it's great at generating improvement ideas. Massive Fix What Bugs Me improvement here for in, uh, the Weldon area is these jigs. So our bays are pretty confined. Uh, so when we pull a big jig like this in, you're welding, and then you have to walk around the jig and weld it again and walk around it again. So we've come up with this class solution now. Just this wee handbrake on the side here, by a bit of fast pipe. You push it down, and we've had the bearing in the bottom now, so the jig spins. So it means when we're welding now, we can turn the jig to us to wherever we need to weld it. That's exactly where it is. Hello Beverly, you've just showed me a really quick fix what bugs you improvement. This here, Ryan, this light kept coming down and hitting me in the hand. I put a wee bit of elastic around it, and it's perfect. Great job. So every single week we do lean tours where people travel from all over the world to come and experience our lean culture. But every single week we improve the experience so that the tour the next week is even better. So another really good example of fix what bugs us. So this is the lanyard we use for lean tours. We just had the first name on there first of all. Then we improved it again because it really bugged us because several companies come on a tour on the same day. And we weren't clear on what person was with what company, so we improved it again. Then on a tour last week, somebody asked, what's the Wi-Fi password? So we put the answer on there as well. So every time something bugs us, we stop and we fix it there and then. It's really a powerful concept. So I was talking to Paul Akers yesterday and he said, I've got a brilliant example of fix what bugs you. And I'll send you a video right now. So here it is. Hey everyone, Paul Akers here. Classic example of fix what bugs you. As a guitar player, our nails have to be perfect. They have to be the right length here. They have to have nice snags there. Everything's got to be right on the money. So one of my problems is whenever my nail gets a little snag in it, I've got to find my file. Where's my file? Is it at the bottom of my guitar case that I put it in my backpack? Where is it? And I think to myself, how come all the guitar makers in the world haven't actually made a place specifically for a nail file in every case? It says nail file and a place for a nice player of nail clippers. I have titanium nail clipper. Why not have that in every case so the guitar maker can take care of their nails perfectly? So I think God, it's a good idea. Taylor Guitar should do that. Well, Bob Taylor's a good friend of mine. Sent a message to Bob Taylor. Bob, what do you think of this idea? He says, great idea. I'm going to push it through my accessory director. Just like that. That's why he thinks what bugs you. It bothered me. I sent a message to Bob and he said, hey, cool idea. Next thing you know, it could be a product. It doesn't mean every idea is going to be a product. It doesn't mean every fix what bugs you is going to be a product. But it does mean that fixing what bugs you can improve the quality of your life. And if you're lucky, maybe it might be a product. Enjoy. So if you're looking for the secret to productivity, the secret to efficiency, 
the secret to having a really engaged and motivated team, then fix what bugs you. So thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this video has inspired you to fix what bugs you.